first giving all praises to God, to my pastor, to the other brothers here on the gospel plow. We thank Jesus for his son. I mean, God for his son, Jesus. Real quick, let's sing a real quick song. By and by, when the morning comes, when all the saints of God gather at home, we'll tell the story of how we overcome, and we'll understand it better by and by. morning come when all the saints of God gather at home tell the story of how we overcome and we'll understand it better by and by we are often tossed and driven on the restless sea of time at home who will tell the story of how we overcome and we'll understand it better by and by one more time by and by when the morning comes when all the saints of God gather at home we overcome and we'll understand it better by and by amen yes, some of y'all glad to be in the house of worship this morning realizing that God has just been good to us after we've been through all that we've been through just this week alone we ought to be excited that we can come into the house of worship and praise his holy name God has been real real good in spite of all the things that I've been through in my personal life, I realize that God has been better to me than I've been to my own self. Amen. Let's get to the word. Going to Psalms 37. Psalms 37. And we, we're not going to start at the first verse, but the 23rd verse. I, the first, all the way through 37 was good, you know, but we're going to start at the 23rd verse. And, you know, the first part says, fret back. We ain't got to worry about the evil doers because God going to take care of us. Verse 23. I don't know. I said, Pastor Monroe, first keep it on to God to Pastor Monroe, Reverend Hicks, Reverend Edgley, and Reverend Allen. We thank God for the participation of these brothers. All right. The 23rd chapter, I mean, 37th chapter, 23rd verse. Oh, God, we ask now that you would have your way in this place. I realize now, oh God, that I need you more now than anything else. Oh God, I'm asking that you would slow my racing mind, my slow, slow my racing heart. And oh God, we pray that you would get all the glory and the honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he is delighted in his ways. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down, for the Lord upholded him with his hand. I have been young and now I'm old, yet <laughs> I have not seen a righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. He is ever merciful and leadeth, and his seed is blessed. That's me, y'all. <laughs> I'm blessed. I got, you know what? I'm sorry, I wasn't supposed to stop right there, but because of Pastor Monroe, who happened to be my father, not just in the ministry, but my father. I thank God that he's been, let it, the Lord order his steps. And I, he not had failed us yet because God has shown himself to be the more excellent God that there's no other God. God is excellent in all that he do and say. 
Amen. He is ever merciful and lead it, and his seed is blessed. Depart from evil and do good and dwell forevermore. For the Lord loveth judgment and forsake not his saints. They are preserved forever. But the seed of the wicked shall be cut off. The righteous shall inherit the land and dwell therein forever. The mouth of the righteous speaketh wisdom, and, and his tongue talketh of judgment. The law of his God is in his heart. None of his steps shall slide. The wicked watcheth the righteous and seeketh to slay him. The Lord will not leave him in his hand, nor condemn him when he is judged. Wait on the Lord and keep his way. And he shall exalt thee to inherit the land. When the wicked are cut off, thou shalt see it. <laughs> and we see that, you know, hey, there's a lot of people. Well, okay, let me finish reading. They, we've seen them being cut off, well, slowly but surely. And, you know, we don't want nothing to happen to people, but we want God to fix their hearts and their minds. We want everybody to be saved. And we don't glory in people getting cut off and dying and this and that, but, but we want God to fix our hearts and our minds so that we can see him face to face. And I'm going ahead of myself. Y'all, I'm supposed to finish reading this first. <laughs> I've seen the wicked in great power and spreading himself like Green Bay tree. Yet he passed away, and lo, he was not, not. Yea, I sought him, and, but could not find him. Mark the perfect man, and behold the upright. For the end of man is peace, but the transgressor shall be destroyed together, and the end of the wicked shall be cut off. But the salvation of the righteous is of the Lord, and he, he is their strength. In a time of trouble. How many of y'all feel like we, most of us, we in the in time of trouble right now. But, but we got strength. <laughs> you know where that strength come from? From the Lord himself. <laughs> Verse 40. And the Lord shall help them and deliver them. And he shall deliver them from the wicked. And save them because they trust in him. That's, that's already the word for me. I'm, I'm, I'm going to trust in the Lord because I need him to be by my side every step of the way. And we're going to use that as a subject this morning. Lord, please order my steps. How many of y'all want the Lord to order your steps? That means we got to stop <laughs> and listen. All right, not to me, but stop and listen to what the Lord has to say to us. You know, in life we have so, we, we're so busy, and, 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 and Pastor Mario told me, y'all stay too busy to hear what the Lord has to say to y'all. You know, sometimes, you know, you can't put things before God, because God is the one who's going to provide for you anyway. And so, even in my own life, I'm, I'm going to go on with the text, but even in my own life, I've seen where, you know, we, we all wonder what's going to happen tomorrow. But we know who holds tomorrow. So here it is that, you know, when we have maybe bills due. Well, some of us don't have bills due, but most of us have bills due. We have uh, trouble in our homes. We have trouble on our jobs. We have trouble uh, in our, even in our own bodies. And we just don't know just what the outcome is going to be, but we know who's in control of the outcome. And so here it is. You got to put your total trust in God. No matter what those, the situation looks like or feel like, you just have to trust him and believe that he's going to see you through. And so here it is. And, that, and with that being said, we have to stop, pay attention, and ask the Lord to please order your steps. I mean, to, you know, it's important that we allow God to order our steps because we can go before the Lord and it don't do us any good. You know, we go before the Lord, and, and it, most of the time, most of the time, it causes us more trouble than it's worth. So uh, even, okay, so back up. In our life, in the last 12 months, there has been so much going on, from COVID to a house being flooded before the flood, and, 
<laughs> you know, <laughs> the winter storms. It's just so, back up just a little bit. You know, the house being flooded. You know, there are some things we ask God for, and we, 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 want, we want things. We ask God for them, and, and we don't know how we're going to do it or when we're going to do it. We just know we want it, and, and we're asking God to help us with this and that. And then, but we got to be careful because even when it looks bad, he'll put a situation in front of you or allow a situation to happen to you only to bless you. But you can mess that blessing up. You can mess that blessing up, man. You know, I, I, I won't tell y'all all our business, but the God that I serve, <laughs> he's a great provider. And he will turn things around and make a way for you. And let me go on with the word. The steps of a, a good man, a righteous man, a woman, boy, or a girl. When our steps follow the Lord, God is pleased with our ways. And a good man is a person whose uh, sin has been cleansed by the Lord and, and whose faith is solely placed in who Christ is and what Christ has done for us at Calvary. The true man is, is the true man is God, the, 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 I'm sorry, the true good man is the Lord Jesus Christ himself. Because there's really none of us are totally righteous. We are, we are righteous only because God made us righteous. We're not, we're not, it's not because we're good. It's just because God has shed the blood at Calvary to make us or uh, give us the opportunity to be a part of him. The Bible says in Romans 3 and 10 says, as, is, as it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. The goodness or the righteousness that, that the believer has is given to him by the Lord through faith. So when we stumble, we will not fall, but because the Lord is right there to hold our hands. So a lot of times we fall. That's probably, probably part of what I was just saying. So we will fall, but we won't stay down. Because the God, the God we serve, he's a God that will provide. He will pick you up. He will take you and he will dust you off and put you back on your feet and put you on your way. So, we, but you still have to ask God, even at that point, to please order my steps. Because, you know, that falling can cause you to do some things and say some things and, and go some places that you shouldn't go. But... If you ask the Lord to order your steps and, and, and really realize that God is able to order your steps, then you can be a better person. Yeah. Amen. Anybody, everybody with me, right? Okay. Amen. This means even though we may uh, have disappointment in life or not as successful as we uh, would like to be, but that doesn't mean that it's over. God is still in control. You know, we have, we have right now in, with this, just the winter storm alone, there are so many people who have been without water, we went, we went without lights, and, and a lot of people don't have food. Yeah, so us that had to deal with that, just for this maybe one week, five days, four days, three days, just think about the people that sleeps outdoors on a daily basis. We are blessed. You know, so that right there is a lesson learned for, it should be a lesson learned for the most of us. We should have compassion on those who have to sleep outdoors and who have no food. Even when they stand there and ask you for a dollar, you no know, matter what they're going to do with that dollar, you should, if you have that dollar, give them that dollar. And you, you putting that dollar in the Lord's hand. 